Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today I am going to be doing a guide on the PC version for anybody who wants to know how to install it, how it works, anything like that. I wasn't planning on doing this but uh, some people asked so I figured hey what the hell let's let's do this. The other thing to note is that in the video description below there will be links to both the app Android or er, sorry it's a brand new website the and app website as well as the um, specific Final Fantasy Brave Exvius page and where to download this great, great version. So anyway, what is the PC version? The PC version is basically just a very, very simple, um, you know, version that runs on the PC without any need of any extra emulators such as BlueStacks, Nox, Memu, and the important thing to note here is that it runs much, much smoother than any of those. I gotta say, this is going to make life and recording for me incredibly easier. So, oh, do I feel good. Anyway, let's go right into it. Now, I'm gonna apologize a little bit because this isn't exactly the greatest setup for showing all of this off, but I'll try and do my best in this video. All right, so first of all, the AND app website. This is where you go to download the main program. It is a program that does get installed on your PC and basically runs as a centralized hub for playing many different mobile games directly on here. Now, on this website, you can see that it has a support for a lot of different games like 23 of 7, Mare Stora, Grand Blue Fantasy, or Final Fantasy III. XVS. Now, the easiest way to get to find where to put this on, directly onto your PC is just simply clicking details under Brave Exvius, which will take you to a main Brave Exvius page where you can learn all about the game, including that there is a iPhone and a Google Play version of the game. Huh, who would have who would have figured? Not me. Just kidding. Now, if you click on the Play Now button, it will basically ask you to download the game or start the game. Now you want to click on the download. This will give you a file to download. It is the AND app application, which is the central thing that you need. So basically click this black button, download it, install it, and then wait for the program to open. So now with that being said, let's get rid of this. And uh, this is where I'm going to apologize because this is where we might gaze into the void of infinity, but there isn't really much I can do about this. Yeah, this is kind of a little bit difficult to show off because it won't capture properly under uh, OBS. Anyway, this is the AND app application. It basically runs on your PC. It is a centralized hub for downloading many different games, but most importantly, you just find Brave XVS, click on it. It will have to install, obviously, first, and then before you know it, you're done. It also gives updates uh, from the live Twitter, which is kind of really interesting and a nice way to just kind of give you some central stuff. It also has direct links to the YouTube and everything. So I got to say, and app is just a really nice little thing to have, uh, especially for information gatherers. Oh, look, there's OBS. All right, kill that, bring back the game. All right, so now we talk about the PC version. And the PC version, I will 100% recommend for anybody. Uh, there is, since you can't macro anyway on the JP side, there's no reason not to get this version. Install it, use it, and just fall in love with it as I have. So what is the big deal about Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, the PC version? Well, the PC version runs super incredibly smoothly, especially if you know anything about how bad the regular versions have been running lately on phones. This version runs so smooth, I'm almost convinced they screwed it up on purpose, which is a little bit conspiracy theory -y, but there you go. The reload button, everything works still the same. You can still swipe right with your mouse, just like you would on an emulator on the PC, and pick your ability. The big difference is right here, the letter keys. These are hotkeys to basically activate it. So no hand on the mouse whatsoever, gonna just hit the keyboard letter, and it activates the ability right then and there. Super easy. Now, this also makes it really, really wonderful for chaining. 
I tested it a little bit earlier and I was able to do 59 chains very, very easily with both of my Runeros. I have never been able to do that, even on phone. So it's how quick, that is just how quick you can actually activate abilities, which is wonderful. Oh my goodness, it is just so easy to recommend. The other thing that you can note is even with animations right now, it is running buttery smooth. Like, if you were to look up but the definition of buttery smooth, this is basically it. Now in explorations as well, you can use the directional pad on your computer instead of using a mouse, which I have to say runs way better. In general, the entire game runs super smooth right now. That isn't to say that a future app update might not screw some things up, but for now the game is running perfectly, and given how much trouble I've had with phone versions, regardless of what kind of phone I have seen it really run on, maybe the iPhone 10 or something runs perfectly smooth, but I don't have an iPhone 10. I'm not buying an iPhone 10, and I don't need to buy an iPhone 10. So let's just finish this off really quickly. Uh, the other thing to note is about how the transferring system works. Oh, I missed. Not a big deal. Yeah, go ahead, take a turn, you need it. Just runs so very nice and smooth right now. Now the question is, how does the transfer system work? Well, on the main screen, when you bring it in, it looks just like any main screen of Brave Exvius on any device. There will be the option you can just click, basically, transfer account. Now, where it normally go to transfer the account is super easy. It's on the bottom right. You'll have the two options. You pick the, if it, this is the top part of your screen, it'll be down right in around here. You click on that. You'll have two options. You click on the top one put in your enter your code and your password, and it will be logged into the PC version. Now, from now on, whenever you go to just open the PC version or your mobile version, you no longer need to transfer accounts ever again unless you are transferring from one mobile device to another mobile device or one PC, ver one PC to another PC. It's that easy. It really is just that easy. There is nothing extra in there about anything else that you have to do, which is super cool. So basically, you can, the scenario is you're playing on your mobile device, you come at home, you just get ready, you turn on your computer, just close your, because you cannot have the same account open on a PC and a mobile at the same time, it can only be open in one place at one time, which Fair enough. As soon as you open your PC and start up the PC version, you're exactly where you left off on the mobile version, which is super easy, super convenient. Again, just fantastic. So I 100% absolutely love this version. The other thing to note is that Lapis that is bought on Google or iPhones does transfer over to the PC version. For instance, I bought Lapis today. It is currently here on the and app version. The only thing you cannot do is you cannot make purchases through any stored credit card information that is on either your Google Play or iPhone account through the and app version. In the same way that if you were to switch from an iPhone to a Google, you know, you cannot make purchases. If you're on Google now, you cannot make a purchase through the iPhone store. Just different versions different storefronts, totally separate kind of thing. So, Lapis, Tickus, everything transfer over, your progress all transfers over. It's incredibly easy to just go, well, I'm leaving the house, shut down the PC version, just take your phone with you, click Brave Axvius, it will open up and bring up your account, no transferring required. All of this makes for an incredible version of, and I've said that a lot of times already, but it's because it really is. The game performance is, I mean, just essentially perfect. It picks up perfect, it runs perfect, and if you want any extra proof of just how good this is running on my PC, anybody who's a has been watching my channel for a long time 
knows that with blue stacks i've had the biggest problems getting cg animations to run perfectly but here you go look at this there is no question there's no doubt in my mind that that limit burst right there ran absolutely perfectly and just to double prove it how good this game is running right now let's go in okay a little bit of hiccups but honestly the game was never perfect to begin with so you know so last proof let's check out a limit burst animation i have never had performance that good on blue stacks at all definitely not nox definitely not memu so this is the real version i 100 percent recommend that you download this now if you are playing Brave Exvius on the Japanese side. Now for all you global users, here's the final piece of information. We have no information when this is launching on the global side. It could be next week, it could be next month. We honestly, I honestly have no idea at the current time. It is only available in Japan. But for anyone who is hoping that the PC version is the real deal, it is 100% the real deal. This is the best way to play Brave Exvius right now. And I gotta say, I will be using only this in the future. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time for more hopefully helpful information. And again, the links will be in the video down or the video description below. Thank you very much for watching. See you all next time.